Hello and welcome to another tutorial of System Rialog in 5 minutes. Today we'll discuss about events. First, signal can be used as an event. Looking at this example, the module has an input clock. Let's assume this is how the clock behaves. You can use alias clock to monitor any changes on the clock. You can use passage clock to monitor clock toggling from 0 to 1 and negage clock to monitor clock toggling from 1 to 0. You can use comma or the keyword or to specify several events. In the example here only has one clock, but if you have another signal to call reset, you can use multiple signals as event control. If we go through this line by line, initial block starts at time 0. The first statement is to wait for any changes in the clock and it will wait or block until this moment here. The second statement waits for a positive edge and the next one waits for a negative edge and the next one waits for either a positive edge or a negative edge, which is the same as the last one. I believe the example here is easy to understand. The statement after alias is an event. However, there may be some confusion, especially in the first statement. Clock can be a signal or an expression in general. In most cases, for example, in an if statement, clock is treated as an expression. If clock is the same as if clock equals to 1. This is not the same case with alias statement. With alias, clock is an event and it means changes of the clock. Alias clock is the same as alias passage or netcache of the clock. Apart from alias, there is another way to wait for an event. The syntax is wait. Here are some examples of using wait. The thing to note is that clock here is an expression. Wait clock is the same as wait clock equals 1. We can look at this example to understand further. The first statement alias clock wait for the clock to change and it happens here. The second statement is the same and it happens here. The third one happens here. Now it continues to the wait statement. Wait clock means wait till the clock is 1. Well, the clock is already 1 at this point, so the wait is over. And it continues to the next line, but similarly clock is already 1. And once again, it continues to the next line, and the same thing happens again. If you use alias clock to move to the next negative edge, then the wait clock will block until the next positive edge here. Now let's talk about a new type, literally called event. This is how you create an event, and this is how you trigger it, and this is how you wait or block the event. Event is useful to represent a trigger that depends on multiple signals. If you look at this example, it has a clock, two inputs A and B, and one output O. O simply takes the result of A or B on every positive edge of clock. Let's say we are interested of the case when either A or B is all ones. We can create an event for that matter. The event depends on multiple signals A and B and clock. Apart from alias, wait can also be used on event. But since wait expects an expression, it cannot use the event as is. It has to use a property called triggered, which can be accessed using dot operator. Now let's take a look at this example. There is one event and there are two threads. One is triggering the event and the other is waiting for the event. In this example, the trigger happens first and the waiting or blocking happens next. The blocking will never see the event trigger and as a result, the join will never happen and thus the display will never happen. Same thing happens if we use a wait statement. This is the same example as before, but we change the delay. Thus, blocking will happen first and then the event trigger will happen next. As a result, the block will see the trigger and complete and the join statement will happen and the display will happen. Same thing with the example of wait statement. Now this is an interesting example where blocking and triggering happen at the same time. First, this is a race condition. Second, even though they happen at the same time, from a solution perspective, one has to happen first and then the other follows. If blocking happens first and trigger happens later, the blocking will see the trigger and the thread will complete. But if trigger happens first and blocking happens later, the blocking will not see the trigger and the simulation will hang. This random behavior is quite undesirable in the simulation. However, the wait statement provides a different resolution. Even if the trigger happens first and the blocking happens later, such that the blocking would not see an upcoming trigger, because of the event triggered property, it would see the event as being triggered in the current time step, and it would perceive that the waiting is over and continue. In summary, events are used to synchronize between different threads and concurrent execution. Next, we will discuss about class, the beginning into object-oriented programming.